Hello, Tracy here. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday Flip Through. So um, for those of you that have been watching, you'll know that I'm in the midst of making all these Christmas journals. And if you leave a comment on any of my videos, doesn't matter how many um, videos you comment on, each comment will go into a bowl that I've been chopping up. Um, people's names, putting it in the bowl and near the end of November you will get the choice of one of my Christmas journals that I've made. So this is choice number one, it is from Polka Art Studio Bunnies and Rabbits Christmas. Absolutely love it, it's got this beautiful gold foil that I've put on, I'm not sure if how much it shows. Um, love the rich rich material it just it suits it down to the ground um love how it has turned out and i've enjoyed like fussy cutting all these little bunnies out so let's get cracking on the first page um i had this beautiful lace doily that i bought online it was part of a pack and i've been saving it but i think it fits perfectly with with this journal so it's just a tag playing on the other side, the little binnies, a bit of scrapbook paper and then we go into the kit. We've got a wrap around pocket, my cluster, so you'll see in my other videos I've made all these clusters, so it's easy to decorate um, when you want to decorate like a pocket or whatever. So this is an old piece of visitors ledger paper that I found in the op shop. I've just tea dyed it, put it on the front and there we have a bit of writing space. This is a piece of old ephemera from which craft do you do? I think it's French. I can't read can't read it but I thought it was really um Really cute and loved the slight stamp that was on there. And then going along, a bit of old ledger paper from 1904. Opens out, cute little cluster. And then we will carry on to the next page. And then we've got like a side tuck that's decorated. And then this is a time, I think it's like a time card, I'm not quite sure, from which craft do you do. And it's decorated with a piece of 49 Market uh, ephemera. And then we have a bit of tea dyed. Any bunnies that I had left over, I've just found random pages and stuck them on. And it just decorates the page. Then we've got a side belly that goes around the page and here's a little booklet um, that I made, I think I made it online, so it's got plenty of writing space in there, let's just shove that up underneath there, so they peek out, and then we've got a alteration tag, so plenty of writing space. In this journal as always I think I'll put them down there so we can see them peeking out and then we're back into the middle of the signature another little pocket a little card backed with fly paper a little decoration on the bottom and then we have a cluster side tuck and this was, um, I think this was just from Timu, but extra writing space. And that's the other side of the old ledger paper. Belly band. This is an old, um, an old postcard. I'm not sure when. But it's all like embossed. It's absolutely beautiful to handle. And the richness of the colours, I think, really suits this journal. And then that's the end of Signature 1. On the back of Signature 1, I've just folded an old piece of 
um, ledger paper. It's got nothing written on it. It's just got its little stamp up there. And then we've got this journal card. It's plain on the back. So it's a double belly band. And then we're into the second signature. And then we've got a cluster, which I've just glued at the top and put this card from which craft do you do so plenty more writing space and then we've got one of these um, paper clips so we've just got a piece of old um, paper vintage paper from an op shop in there is I believe this is chapter one um, seed packet and there's just this cute little girl in there to write on a little journal card. Put that back in there. Then we have over the page three little three little rabbits. This I got given sent to me from someone in America. They sent me a whole lot of um, sort of vintage -y type paper. So it's a Coca Cola. Uh, is it an invoice payment? Yeah, for invoice. So I thought that was really cool. I've been wanting to use that for a while now. And then these three little men. Another vintage postcard. It's embossed. Ohio. So thought that was quite cute in there. And in the middle of the signature, these I'm going to, um, if I haven't already, I'm going to do a video. This was just like a piece of cardstock left over. I had this big um, piece from the fussy cuts of the kit. And I just wanted to do extra journaling space. So it just flips up so you can journal on that. Um, but I think I'm going to do more of those. I really like really like the idea of it. Um, more two little bunnies. So I try to have bunnies on every page, really. And then we've got the book page wraparound. Um, cute little tag and bits and bobs in here. And then over the page, more bits and bobs. Another side tuck and another time card. Left this relatively plain, but I put this gorgeous lace. It just happened to be sitting on my desk in front of me, so I thought that was kind of cool. End of signature two, and we're still going. So this is jam packed, really. I'm not surprised it's turned out quite fat. Um, Side pocket with a little, this was an ingredient card, I don't even know what kit it came from, but decorated it up. And that can go in there. Pocket, this is an old piece of ledger paper. It was quite long, so I folded it up, made it into a pocket, put, put a bit of lace along the bottom, bit of Stamperia paper, which matched beautifully with these presents. Um, little wreath and we've got this little girl all I did was put her on there and there's a little journal card in here this was from which craft do you do when I was a guest designer so plop her in there that's just a little side a little cluster of stuck on and then that's right, so it was the flap of the CD case. So I've put this cluster on there, opens out, and then there's a journal card in here. And that's a 49 market. Um, 49 market was uh, poinsettia. Over the page, 49 and market, really wanted to use this reef, and there's like a doily thing behind it. A little bit of Edith Holden, and any spare bunnies that I had, I have put in here. So whoever um, gets this journal will get some bunnies to decorate some more pages if they wish. Three stooges. 
and a little of the third signature just about there little young lady another um, side pocket had this just sitting up above me like up along here I've got bits and bobs actually it's just a mess but I had that cut that away from it so it just looks like it all fits in and I love the browns how it sort of matches in and here's a couple more of these cards so by now I was thinking yeah this journal's getting pretty chunky so I wanted to put something flat in there fabric flip some old vintage lace there and then that's the other side of the ledger paper and we've got like a cute little tag there so a lot of um, handmade ephemera in this journal um, this is an old postcard I can't see the date on it and I don't understand the writing but just put it in there and then over the page is this envelope that I've covered and we have in here just a, um, with every good wish for Christmas a little saying there to write on and then this has been hanging around for quite a while I really wanted to put this in um, it's old very old but there's extra journal space in there uh, 1922 so that will go along to um, someone who loves old pieces of ephemera they will get that in this journal too and then we've got like the frame to frame her out she almost looks, looks like a queen doesn't she so that is the end of this journal so keep it in mind because whoever I draw they might you might really like this journal um, I love it but I love all my journals that I make and I'm sad to see them go but I can't keep them all and to be honest as a journal maker I actually don't write in them I wish I did but I just don't get time I get more enjoyment making them but I'm this won't be in the shop um, until if it doesn't get picked um, it will be in the shop at the end of November so I hope you've enjoyed this flip through like I said the kit if you like it is from Poker Art Studio Bunnies and Rabbits Christmas and until next time I will catch you later bye